By 1803, the United States shared much of the continent of North America with Spain. The first permanent settlement in what would become the United States was established by Spain in 1565. That was St. Augustine in Florida. And today, St. Augustine is the oldest city in the United States. But it took a while for it to become a part of the United States. Here's the story. As you can see from this map, Florida was actually two provinces, West Florida and East Florida. The United States and Spain had an ongoing disagreement over the boundary of West Florida. East Florida, though, clearly belonged to the Spanish, and it became a refuge for runaway slaves, pirates, and especially Seminole Indians who raided and threatened settlements in Georgia. In 1817, President James Monroe sent General Andrew Jackson to Florida to stop the Seminole raids. Jackson was told he could cross the border into Florida, but should not attack any Spanish forts. Jackson had another idea. He sent Monroe a letter saying that if the president wanted, he, Jackson, could take all of East Florida in 60 days. The president didn't answer, so Jackson marched into Florida, deposed the Spanish governor, and installed one of his officers in its place. To settle the matter, President Monroe gave the Spanish two choices. They could either do a better job of patrolling Florida and assure that there would be no more raids across the border, or they could give Florida to the United States. And that's what they did. In 1819, a treaty was signed in Washington. East Florida went to the United States, and Spain gave up all its claims to West Florida. Florida, the Sunshine State, joined the Union in 1845.